I just have to say that I'm like super proud of myself because I'm always behind the trend when it comes to these wigs. And today, today, she may not be first or second, but I actually ordered a wig and received it and I'm reviewing it in a timely manner. You guys, this is huge for me like this is huge for that alone please go ahead and subscribe <laughs> progress i'm making progress but would it be a sophie chanel video without a hair flip huh? no. oh no no now is she worth it let me work it put my thing down flip it and reverse it yeah she is worth it honey Hey sunshines, it is your slay at home mom, Sophie Chanel, and I am back with another hair review. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you all, I am back with another hair review. And today, and today, and today, we got another unit from our tray on today. <laughs> yes, today we have another unit from our tray. Outre, 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 outre. Yes, outre. Um, but before we get into that, I want to go ahead and welcome you to my channel. If you're already part of the Sunshine Tribe, welcome home. If you are new here, welcome. I'm so glad that you decided to stop by, sit down, have a seat. Come on in, take a seat. Come on in, take a seat in here. <laughs> Yes, if you are loving what you've seen so far and want to see more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Make sure you ding that notification bell so you don't miss any of the new videos when they come out. All right, yes, yeah, so like I said, so today we have a unit from Outre and it is none other than Cheyenne. Cheyenne, she's hot like Cayenne. Pepper, Pepper. You don't want to mess with her. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. If you know, send help. Anywho, we are getting into this Outre Perfect Hairline Unit by Outre. This is Cheyenne. And this is a 13 by 6 fully hand-tied lace wig. And it does feature the faux scalp. But I will say, this particular scalp on this unit... I felt like she was a little bit darker than some of the other units that we've been getting from Outre. Um, so that may be perfect for some people. However, I will say that the lace on this one, this H transparent lace, they say it's HD lace, no plucking required. That's that was that was factual. This lace, I feel like she is just blending. She like just melts into like where is it? Where? You don't see it. I mean, you might see it a little bit, but where? So thank you, Outre. This is right up my alley. I did not have to go in with my tint spray. I just went in with a little bit of my Fit Me powder to tint the lace underneath. I did not tack down these ear tabs yet, but I will do that later. I'm thinking about doing like a half, like a half up, half down style with this unit. What I love about these Outre 13 by 6 units, you can part them here, you can part them there. You can have it here, you can have it there, you can have it anywhere. You can do a half up, half down. You know, and you know me, I like to come and give you guys options, versatility. You know, if you if you like a right side part, you got it. Some of you might be like, I don't want a left side part. You don't have to do left side part if you don't want a middle part. I don't like that middle part. You don't have to do that, boo. You can slick it all back if you want. But right now, I'm just wearing it in a little flip over. Some people love them a good flip over. So I give you options. I do a right side part. I do a left side part. I do a middle part. I'm going to do a half up, half down. And I got you on the flip over here and a flip over there. And I got you on the flip overs everywhere. I got you. Yes, I'm not gonna be long with you guys because you know I could be a bit winded. Thousand years later. So I'm just gonna go through this rundown really quickly. The length of this unit, she is long, long. She looking like she's about three feet long. You know, she's tailbone length. 
So I'm gonna say about a good 28, 30 inches, you know, and I'm five, five and a half, if you care. And so that's where she's falling on me. Um, the density of this unit, she looks very, very full. However, when you touch her, she's not heavy. She's not like, you know, giving, like pulling you back or anything like that. She's a lot less dense than she looks. Um, these curls aren't like super heavy curls. This is not a yakky textured unit. I feel like some of the yakky, more yakky textured units have a little bit more weight to them. This ain't that, sis. Um, did this unit tangle? Yes, and you will see that in the video. I did, however, go in with my Simply Styling Spray. If you want to know about this, I will link it in the description box where you can purchase this on Amazon, but I also will put up a card here so you can see how to care for your synthetic units where I talk about this simply style and spray in order to get it back together. I didn't I will not say that she shed because I didn't really comb through her too much to get a lot of shedding. When you have units, synthetic units like this that are curly, you don't want to compromise the texture or the pattern of the unit. So just try to minimize combing through the units especially with like any fine tooth combs. You more so wanna use your fingers to separate or to get like a different, you know, like loosen up the curl some or a wide tooth comb. I purchased this unit with my own coins and this unit was going for just about $44. I will post the link also down below in the description box like I always do where you can go and purchase this unit on the side of your choice. You can see all the sites that sell it and you can get the most bang for your buck is this unit big head friendly i would have to say yes this unit is big head friendly you know i'm at 22.5 inches on a good day some days about 23 and with this unit i just use the web you know i coined that the wide elastic band um, I did not unhook the adjustable straps. I completely forgot to, and I'm comfortable. I've had this unit on for a couple of hours now, um, and I'm not using any combs. Is this unit beginner friendly? That remains to be seen. You know, it just depends on your experience with, well, not even synthetic, but wig units. Um, it does have the 13 inch frontal part, um, you know the ear to ear and so if you're not used to that and like laying that down in this video you will see i did not tack down these edges or anything i'm gonna go back in and do that later um so if you're someone that's inexperienced with that watch some videos on how to secure your units and you will become more of a experienced wig wearer so i would say she's about She's slightly beginner slash moderate level, friendly level of expertise. Overall, would I recommend this unit? Like I said in my divine video, I'll link that above too. If you have not seen it, what are you, what are you waiting for? Go, go look at it. Um, but yes. Go get it, go get it, go get it. Get shy, yeah. Get shy, yeah. <laughs> Go get Cheyenne. I believe that this unit sold out very quickly. Um, I saw, I ordered it the first day that I saw it. I want to say two days later, I went to the websites and I was like, I don't see any more available. But then I saw some more available today. So I don't know if they sold out and then came back in stock, but I was like, wow. And I love this unit. I love the color. This is the Havana Brown, which is, I feel like it's been kind of like popping lately with Outre. I'm here for it. Overall, I love this unit. Go ahead and see how I got into this unit and I'll see you guys in the next video. Today's unit is coming to you from Outre. This is Cheyenne. I have her in the color Havana Brown and she is glowing. And this unit does have the frontal as well as the faux scalp she has two combs in the front one comb in the back the adjustable straps as well as the elastic band she does have a stretchy dome cap and you will see that i started out with a nude color stocking cap with this unit 
And then I later changed to black because the color was just, you could really see through that lace, the stocking cap. So I went in and changed that. Girl, I swear that it ain't fair, it ain't fair that so the black cap is a little better, but I still see this faux scalp on here and it's a clear line of demarcation. So I decided to go ahead and cut that out. So in order to cut this um, faux scalp out, you can look for this clear string, like this clear thread, and you want to very carefully snip at that and just pull along the seam of that full scalp. Keep doing that until it's all the way off and then you can cut the back off against the seam. So now we're just gonna go in and cut off the lace. I like to section my um, lace parts off into like three sections, sometimes four to make it a little bit easier. I use these small scissors and kind of go up and down so that it's not a straight line of demarcation. So now I'm just going to go in lightly with my Fit Me powder in the color 235 just to lightly tint the lace underneath the bottom of that lace. So I did go ahead and lay my edges off camera, but I did want to come in and say really quickly that this hair does tangle. I noticed that whenever I would put in a part in the, to the hair, it would tangle. However, when I did the flip over method, it was like the curls weren't too compromised. So you might want to just stick with like a flip over method or get your part and set it. And that same fit me powder and filling in the part. Now if you've watched a good bit of my videos, then you are familiar with the Simply Styling Spray. I like to use this to add a little bit um, of the silicone back to my curly units whenever they get a little bit frizzy or tangled and it makes it a whole lot easier for it to just kind of comb through. and yes Cheyenne passed the hair flip test all right you all that's pretty much it for this video thank you so much for watching and supporting if you have not already please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next video disobedience and right now these lashes 
they they being real disrespectful like super disrespectful like get it together like it's one of those things where you know how hair gets stuck <laughs> in your lash and you try to move it out of the way and you end up pulling your lash like i hate it hate it hate it hate it hate it, hate it, hate it. so you, these are the lashes you're gonna get today she's real disrespectful get her in line somebody get her in line <laughs>